The Peak District village of Eam has a very sad history. It is known as the Plague Village, which went into voluntary quarantine when the bubonic plague was imported from London in 1665. The church has a small exhibition about the plague, with many relics, including Montpesson's chair, gravestones of plague victims, and the parish register recording the deaths. Many of the buildings have plaques giving details of their history and the part their occupants played in the plague saga, especially the plague cottages where the outbreak began. The village green has an ancient set of stocks, which in historic times were apparently used to punish the locals for minor crimes. On the main street lies Eam Hall built in 1676, but in a style which was already out of fashion, so it looks like an early Jacobean mansion. It is the home of the Wright family, who built it and have lived there ever since. The house is open to visitors in the summer months, as well as housing a small craft centre. I've come to Eam this morning to enjoy a tour of the lovely village, as well as going on a short circular walk in the surrounding area. Another fine morning here at Eam. A bit windy again, but it's a beautiful morning. And I'm going to be doing a walk from Eam across to another village. And then eventually I shall end up coming down from those hills behind me. Really looking forward to today's walk. I took a path leading off Tideswell Lane and headed westwards through the fields. To my right I could see Eam Edge, a gritstone ridge which rears up steeply above the limestone plateau below, and I would be making my way up in that direction later on in the day.
Well, today is the first time in a long time where I've had a proper look round Eam. I used to come more regularly, and I don't know why I've stopped coming so much, because it's a really nice village. Now, particularly when I first moved to the Peak District, it was a nice place to take visitors. And uh, I used to spend an hour or two at Peak quite a lot with visitors. And next to the post office, it's a private house now. But that used to be a gift shop with a tea room above it. Um, it's not been a gift shop for quite some years now. It's been a private house for quite a long time. But the tea room used to serve plague pie. <laughs> not something that you'd look at and think, oh, wow, yes, I must try that. But actually, if you could get past that, it was really nice. Because all it was was a large mince tart. That's all it was. Just a, a, a slice from a large mince tart. It was just mince meat in a pastry base with a bit of cream. And it was, it was nice. Shame they closed the tea room, really. As I continued following the path through the fields, I was approaching the next village on my walk. Fulo is a picturesque village clustered around the village green with an ancient cross and duck pond. It was formerly a lead mining village and many of the houses are from the 17th century. The pond is fed by natural springs and the shaft of the village cross is medieval, though the base is more recent and has a bull baiting ring attached to it. There are no shops in Fulo, but there is a pub, the Bull's Head. Now I came to Fulo early this year. I was with a group of friends back in the summer where we were on a minibus trip of the Peak District where we went round five different pubs in the area and Fulo was the second place we came to. My friends and I had a drink here in the Bull's Head as part of this minibus trip. A fantastic night out which I've organised several times over the years I arrange these trips by looking at a map of different regions within the Peak District where there are five decent pubs that serve good real ale. I normally manage to get 10 to 15 of my friends to come along, so I book a 16-seater minibus with a driver who takes us to the pubs on the route I've planned. I'll talk about this trip more when I get back to Eam. I followed Bradshaw Lane out of Fulo to head upwards towards Eam Edge. Mm -hmm. 
At the top, I came to Breton, a quiet hamlet high up on the Gritstone Ridge. The Barrel Inn is a traditional country inn with its unique character. Laying claim to being the highest pub in Derbyshire, the Barrel Inn is surrounded by breathtaking scenery in the Peak District. The view from here is fantastic, and apparently on a clear day, you can see for 30 miles. I didn't stop at the Barrel Inn today, so I just walked eastwards on from Breton, along the lane, slowly making my way back towards Eam. This is part of the original turnpike road from Sheffield and Grindleford to Buxton, which went along the ridge, and an ancient packhorse way from Eam to Hathersage passed nearby. Lady Wash Mine is a mixed ore mine which exploited the Hucklow Edge veins until its closure in 1979. Much of the main buildings are still intact and the shaft, although grid sealed and fenced off, can be clearly seen. Well I'm descending down into Eam now, but just before I do, I'm going to just take a left turn along this lane here because there's something just before I reach the village, that's very important as part of the village's history. When the villagers of Eam agreed to a quarantine to prevent the spread of the plague, this well to the north of the village became one of the sites where neighbours left food and other provisions to sustain the inhabitants of Eam. Coins left in payment were washed in the well, sometimes with vinegar added, in the hope that this might cleanse the money of any plague remains. I was at the end of my walk as I arrived back in Eam. There are many fine old houses in the village, and parts have been kept as they looked centuries ago, especially in this part of Eam, 
known as Town End. There are several shops and tea rooms, plus one pub, the Miner's Arms. This is dated 1630 and is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in Derbyshire, which would surely add interest to a night's stay. So I'm back in Eam, and it's been yet another wonderful walk here in the Peak District. Well, talking earlier about the minibus trip that I went on with friends earlier this year, on that particular trip we started at the Barrel at Breton, then we went to the Bull's Head at Fulo. The next stop was here in Eam. We went to the Miner's Arms, and I think for most of us in that group that night, that particular evening, it was one of our favourite pubs. It's a really nice place, a friendly pub. Some of us got talking to some of the locals who were friendly, and they were interested in hearing all about the minibus trip we were doing, and it was great. And it all seems such a shame that it takes me to organise a minibus trip for us all to get together like that and have a really relaxed evening. I mean, we can all come to the Miner's Arms here in Eam whenever we like, but it just means that we've got to drive. Normally, we have to drive. Or get public transport, which isn't particularly easy. But if we have to drive, that means we can have one drink and that's it. But those minibus trips are great because for the entire evening, from six o'clock in the evening, where the minibus picks us up from home. We then go to our first pub and we all sit back and let someone else do the driving whilst we get dropped off at all the different pubs and we can drink as much as we like, not have to worry about having to get a taxi home or drive home ourselves, it's wonderful. They really are fantastic evenings out and no doubt next year I'll organise another one.